This is the new DJI Avada FPV drone, and this is the new motion remote controller. I've been flying FPV drones for a while now, but I've never flown a drone with something like this. You know what it reminds me of is, you remember the old Nintendo Wii? <laughs> One of these things? Well, it's a similar style or similar concept to that, but it's very precise. It has some really unique controls. And frankly, I was very surprised at how well I was able to control the drone with this remote controller. I was a little uncomfortable at first giving up the traditional style remote controller, but once I started using this thing, getting the hang of it, I really enjoyed it. I felt like I had very precise control over the drone. It was very responsive and very intuitive. In no time, I adapted and I was flying in and around trees and going through doors and all kinds of stuff that normally I wouldn't try. So it was quite an interesting experience. It took me a little bit to kind of get the hang of the button presses to, to get it to take off. So you have to do uh, two consecutive presses, which starts the motors up idling. And then you press it again, and then it'll climb up and it'll just park. It'll just sit there and hover until you tell it what to do. So then I just got a little bit familiar with the turning. So the, to turn this thing, all you do is rotate a little bit like this, and that's your left and your right bank. And then of course you can descend or you can climb. That's all there is to it. You got the trigger here to accelerate. And as soon as you let off that thing, it just stops right in its tracks. It's pretty amazing. There's also a big button on the top here where you can just slam on the brakes and it'll put itself to a halt. So I just wanted to demonstrate how quickly I was able to adapt. Now I've been flying drones for a while now, but as I said, I've never used anything like this before. So my very first flight with the Avada was in a campground. I got permission from the campground owners. There was really nobody else around and I was first taking off and just kind of getting the feel for this thing. In no time, I was flying in and around trees and over the tree line and doing climbs and descending. And I could not believe how quickly I was getting the hang of this thing. A few days later, we moved to another campground, which was right next to the Mississippi River, where I took the Avada up again. And this time I was in a park located right next to the river. I began my first flights just flying in and around the trees and going around my truck. And in a short amount of time, I gained more and more confidence. I got a little brave and then I flew out over the river. It's always a little unnerving flying over water, especially when it's a new experience because you know once it goes in the water, you're never getting it back. I did a little bit of flying, came up and down the shoreline, came in, landed, put a new battery in, and I thought I'd try it again. This time I flew between the trees and I went out over the Mississippi River. I put it into sport mode so I could go a little bit faster and I actually flew all the way across the Mississippi River. So I made my way all the way over to a park which was located on the other side of the river and I flew up and down the shoreline a little bit and I was able to come back. At no time did I feel uncomfortable. I did not feel like I was losing control. I had a very pristine video signal the entire time and I always felt like I was in full control of this drone. So it was really an interesting experience and one that I didn't expect. What I really thought was cool was I got very precise control in a short amount of time and I could just do these subtle little movements with it. So once I made it back home, I wanted to do another video where I actually wanted to fly through my house. So it's a Sunday afternoon, my wife is watching football. I've opened the patio door and I went upstairs and opened a window upstairs. You'll see me going up the stairs and going down the hallway. It was surprising to me how precise it was. In a future video, I'm going to be evaluating this drone as a public safety drone for indoor searches. This one is just for fun. 
So once I came out the window, the camera quickly adapted to the change in the lighting conditions. I flew over the roof line, and then I thought, well, let's have a look at those fall colors. So I flew up through the trees, got to see a little bit of fall colors, came back down through the yard, and my RV was parked in the driveway, so I decided to open the doors on that and come on through. This video right here was shot all in one take. When you get a ducted fan close to drapes or anything that's fabric that's just kind of hanging down, the tendency was it'll, it'll get sucked into it. So you can see here where it hit some bedding in my camper. Um, also going down the deck, I had a cover over my barbecue grill and when I went past that, I got a little too close to it and it got sucked in and flipped over. So one of the cool things about this drone is if it does land on its back, it has this thing called turtle mode where you can actually swipe through the goggles and go through the menus and you can activate turtle mode which causes it to flip back over on the right side. Then you can take off again and continue your flight. So all in all, a pretty cool experience but mainly I wanted to talk to you today about this motion controller because this thing has been kind of, um, I think, underrated. DJI really has put a lot of engineering to this thing and I thought, I'll give it a try, see what I think. Well. I was pleasantly surprised and it was not what I thought. So if you're looking at buying a DJI Avada, don't dismiss this motion controller. We all like flying with the traditional remotes, but this is a pretty cool experience too. You can buy the kits with, with this and the traditional remote, or you can get it with just this controller. So whatever one you prefer, either way, you're gonna have a good time flying this drone.